Welcome to the video notes on CER, Claim, Evidence, and Reasoning. This is going to be a key uh, concept, a key way that you're going to display your arguments and your claims and um, all the things that you're learning uh, this year in chemistry. So let's take a look at this format. So first off, what is a CER? It is a concise and effective way to communicate scientific or honestly any kind of results. All right. Um, it's typically just one paragraph. All right. So that's kind of good news for you, right? Because you won't be, you know, writing essay after essay after essay or whatever in here. One paragraph. Sometimes it'll be a short paragraph. Sometimes it'll be a long paragraph. Okay. Um, that is going to answer a specific scientific question. Okay. But the idea is that there's only going to be one paragraph. All right, so let's take a look in, um, or let's take a look at how you can write an effective and good CER. All right, so CER uh, gives you the acronym Claim, Evidence, and Reasoning, and it should be in that order. So what that means is that you always want to start with the claim. If you put your claim at the end, you will get docked points. You'll say, but it's there, but I'll say it's called C-E-R, not E-R-C, all right? So start with your claim. C is claim. Now the claim is one sentence that answers the question asked, all right? Make sure it is a complete sentence, all right? Meaning that it's got a capital letter in front, a complete thought, and a period at the end, all right? <laughs> And so don't be lazy in writing your sentences is what I'm saying here. And make sure that it answers the question. There are lots and lots of times that people write a claim that doesn't even answer the question asked. So in order to get a good grade and not frustrate the teacher that is um, you know, grading it, make sure it actually answers the question and make sure it makes sense, all right? Please go back and proofread your stuff before you turn it in. If you turn in junk that doesn't make sense, um, you won't get a good grade, bottom line, okay? So for your claim, the claim is the easiest part. It is one sentence, it's a complete sentence that answers the question and it makes sense, done. All right, so the claim, like I said, is the easiest. Um, the next is the E, E for evidence. Evidence is the data or observations that you made during the experiment to support your claim, okay? Or it may be, you know, that you're reading through something or watching a video and you're taking out pieces of information, data or observations, okay, that you make in order to support the claim. All right, so that is what evidence is data and observations that you make either from an experiment, a reading or video or watching something, okay, that you make to support the claim. So be sure that you use all of the data measurements and observations, all right? There's lots of um, times, you know, in years past where students have just, you know, uh, spoke about one thing okay, one piece of evidence and ignored the rest. You can't do that, all right? In science, we can't just pick and choose, okay, which, um, you know, piece of evidence is going to, you know, make our claim more famous. We have to include all of our data and observations, so don't leave anything out. If you can, okay, be comparative when appropriate, okay, that means if your question involves proving which option is correct, then your evidence needs to include the other options and why they're wrong. All right. Um, so if you, you know, if the question is which one is right, A or B, and your claim is that A is right, okay, then in your evidence, you need to tell me why A is right and why B is wrong. Okay, so be comparative when appropriate. All right, a good CER, the evidence is not your opinion. Make sure it does make sense and make sure it's in complete sentences. It is not your opinion though, 
And so you should never say, I think, or I feel, or, you know, you know, I think it's cool that all those things. All right. Make sure it makes sense. And again, it's in complete sentences. Don't be a lazy writer. All right. Last but not least is reasoning. The last, the third and final part. So finally state your reasoning. The reasoning is um, typically at first going to be the the trickier part of your CER. But as you write more and more, you'll get better and better at reasoning. So reasoning is an explanation of how and why your evidence supports the claim. So it is detailed explanation using scientific topics, okay, that you've learned. So this is a super key big tip here. Whatever question you are investigating and whatever claim um, that you have, take a step back and think about the scientific topics we just covered in this unit and use them to explain what is going on at the molecular level. This is chemistry. We're looking everything at the molecular level. So your reasoning will always use the scientific topics in the unit of study, and you're always going to explain what's going on at the molecular level, okay? If you do that, you will get a good grade, no doubt, okay? And again, just like your evidence, don't leave anything out. Be comparative when appropriate, okay? If you choose A, then you tell me why not B. Again, it's not your opinion. Make sure it makes sense. Proofread, all right? It's so frustrating that people just, la la la, they're typing on their computer, they hit print, they haven't proofread. Um, grammar mistakes, syntax mistakes, it just doesn't make sense mistakes. So please proofread before you hit print. It will save your grade, guaranteed. And if you want, you want to raise your grade even more, give it to mom, dad, brother, sister, dog, if he's you know uh, capable of reading and telling you information. Um, give it to somebody, have them read it, and make sure it makes sense. Because if it makes sense to them, it will definitely make sense to me, okay, as I um, grade it. And then last but not least, again, please don't be a lazy writer. Use complete sentences, all right? So this is all about CER. If you forget any of this, it's in your notes. If you forget your notebook, hey, look on the back wall of the classroom. There's an entire bull bulletin board about claim evidence and reasoning and everything you need to write a good CER.